this picture of the heart. So when we, before we know God, our heart is more like this. We have a lot of confusion about what God is like. We have many different ideas, but they are not right. The heart of Jesus is like this. I met the king issue, Yavide, Martilumu, Pipo, no? He completely understood what the father is like. Oh, the king issue, Yavi, and the king issue, and alone, not the Lumu Pia, Libra, not the king issue, alone, not a little, Camilo, a balloon, you feel as well. He had no confusion in him. The king issue, a tema, show three moves around the shoes. But people who do not know God have a lot of confusion. And people like us who know God, we have some areas where we are not confused and some areas where we are confused and we're not sure what God is. Like. Yeah. So when you have a lot of confusion, you have a lot of But the heart is like honeycomb. That honey comes out of. So whatever, whatever is in the heart comes out of the heart. And so the way that we live our lives is affected by what is happening inside of the heart. Yeah. So if we go to Proverbs 4, verse 23. David, can you get, just tell me exactly how does it word it in Germanese? Oh, yeah. Yeah, also I will make a direct translation. Yeah. Yeah. The heart. Um, uh, the heart is the root of life. Or for the heart is the root of life. The root. Uh, specially the root. protect, uh, like, specially protect your heart. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Protect your heart yeah. specially. Yeah. Yes. So in the English translation, it says to guard your heart because it is the wellspring. So like a well where water comes out. Yeah. English wellspring of life. But whether we use the word root or we use the word well, it's a source. It's the origin. So we can use a word like root. So the Bible clearly states that the life, everything we do in our life comes from the heart. And that is why it says we must look after our hearts, we must protect it and guard it. And that is why it says we must look after our hearts, we must protect it and guard it. 
Because what is in the heart will determine the direction of our lives. And sometimes we do not learn things about our own hearts. Uh, but then, sometimes we can have. Sometimes we don't know things about our own hearts. Oh, the Khalidja is the one. Go say in loan of my barry, Pipiani, the barry, she needs a cuckoo right now, Mamma Dida, she needs a shivare. So maybe I think my heart is like this. Who say am I saying alone or no? But when God looks to it, he sees this. And so he said, read Proverbs 21, ดูโรดีมิมิโรจินตมะตออจินโตโกนิตตะอีทาวราพยามุกาสิ่งนะลงโตโกฉิ่งโตมุอีอาเมนอาเมนเดอะเดอะเมบี้อายทิงกว่า
adi makaung do abe di kaung do adi ko mati nai kaung do adi mati do abe si de miaro ko kau lewe mite do cha lai jai do pi lin tu bro fa do ye cheng o tao do do i do bo ti a lai pi. And then Matthew fifteen verse eighteen David. Ah, mata sengah sesi guru lecik no paham no. Ada bapjo le solusi. Ah, kedua mata tua la do ayam muka. Nalun le kat tua la bil lugu ni nyusi do ayam pi. Okay. Yes. And Luke six forty five. Luke six forty five. ลูกกาอาการดีเช้าอาการเงี้ยลีสังหาชนะพ่อแม่อะไรบ้างเลยส่วนนี้เอ่อกาวน์ดอตุดีกาวน์ดอมิมิเซนเราบันนาได้เจ
ไม่ยะเบเจมาซะพี่เนาะดิกะเลโอปิวๆกิวไซนายเนี่ยซอมวยพี่เนาะบ่เนาะมวยกินเนาะดาโกโกซ่องชอบดาเลยเนาะดา
ပြီးတော့ဘုရားကိုတော့ဘုရားကိုတော့ဘုရားကိုတော့ဘုရားကိုတော့ဘုရားကိုတော့ဘုရားကိုတော့ဘုရားကိုတော့ဘုရားကိ
You remember last week we said that we are our own teachers. And we should not It is our responsibility to educate ourselves about Christ. But we are not alone with the responsibility. Because the Holy Spirit teaches us about it. So we do it together. When you know to do a low low low, and that is why it is really important to ask God, what do you see in my heart? Because we are not alone So, um, this man, Leif Hetland, he said this. He said, sometimes we are like spiritual orphans. Leif Hetland, so, say, I want to, but you know, the Kalijai, you know, 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 Always looking for security to be safe. Oh, when you hear me, I'm here. 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 Purpose and significance. Because they have not experienced things from the Father. If you want to know who you are, if you want to know who you are, you first of all need to know who you belong to. Go, go, but do pity the lap, Yabalo call is or Matilo she and Mono, go below bones and young lambs of Blue Dimale. That is very interesting because sometimes we find maybe I feel um, insecure or anxious about something. That can tell me that I I need to go to God. When you wake up in the morning and you look in the mirror, what do you see? Before I knew Jesus, I had a lot of self-hatred. So when I looked in the mirror, I felt hatred for myself. I did not value myself. And because I didn't value myself, I also didn't value my life. And this was very painful for my heart. So when I was a teenager, I was very, very sad all the time. To the point that I didn't even want to live. But 
after I've met Jesus. And I found out that I belong to God. Then I began to see myself differently. Yeah, and then you... I, I, began, I began to see myself differently in a different way. Because if God said I was valuable, then I should believe him. And so when I looked in the mirror, I felt really stupid and it made me laugh, but I would say, I love you. <laughs> I would say to myself, you are beautiful. <laughs> you were born for a time like this. I am my father's child. And I have to believe him. God has a good plan for my life. I am important. God loves me. And this was a decision, but it was also fun. Yeah, this time, but it was a discipline, but it was also fun. To look together with God at my own heart. Yeah, I'm, I missed it again. To, to look together with God at my own heart. Yeah, I, 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 I looked at my heart together. Uh, I can hardly hear you again. Uh, I think it's because of the connection. So, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's better. All right, so here's my heart. And God and I began to look together at my heart. And we were cleaning my heart together. Because the Bible says that we that the heart is washed with the water of the word. And so when I found a place in my heart that did not believe the truth about God or about me. Then I could take the scripture and speak the scripture to wash it. And so I could didn't think that God loved me. My piace and go to the death of your boy, but not Luma de Jarek and Arima. I take the scripture and I clean it with the scripture. God says He has loved me with an everlasting love. Our Tower of Pia now, Tower of Me done it to the death of your boy. And after a period of time. The heart is clean in that area. Because the word of God transforms us. What about when there is a, 
a reason why they were exempt in the first. Oh. Yeah. What, what, ha okay, so that's how we find these places in the heart, okay? We, we just clean it and it's, it's better. But what about when there's damage in the heart? Because of something that happened in the past. What do we do then? Now, some of us have had bad experiences with somebody who was supposed to be good to us like a father. Can you hear me? Yeah, uh, I can hear you now. Sometimes somebody had a bad experience with somebody who was supposed to be like a father. And now you read the word of God, but it doesn't make sense to your heart because your heart is hurt. Then it can feel like you can't change your heart. But this is where the Holy Spirit encounter comes in. Because when we spend time with God, He will help us to get free of the hurt that caused the confusion. Yeah, pardon? He helps us to get free of the hurt that caused the confusion. Okay, let's take a break again, David. Maybe we take a 10-minute break and it will be back for after again. Yeah, now say many lao kna be your naya on a be now that session who saw it, no? Yeah. Yeah. So 10 minutes and then we continue again.